How to get hot girls. Now this is a subject I could talk about for a very long time, but I want you to understand some basic concepts to, to the pimp game. Basic concepts to the realities between men and women. There are some factors you can control and there are a lot of factors you cannot control when it comes to getting hot women. Now, if you don't know who I am, you don't know my qualifications, I don't wanna brag about how many women I've fucked, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm rolling in the highest possible echelons. All those Instagram models you're seeing with like 100,000 followers and you're sitting there thinking, who's that guy who finally, who gets to actually fuck her in the night? Well, it's me, that's who. So I'm rolling in the highest possible echelons of female quality and I know the game inside out. So first let's discuss the things that you cannot affect. One of the largest and least discussed factors to, to, to attracting females is an uncontrollable thing, which is timing. Timing has a huge, huge effect on how a female is gonna react to you. If you go up to a, let's say imagine you're in a nightclub, you're chilling in a nightclub, you go up to a girl, you wanna to talk to her. Now if that girl has just been bought flowers to take it for dinner by her boyfriend before she goes to the club, she's not very likely to talk to you. If she just caught her boyfriend cheating, she's more likely to talk to you. Do you understand that things that happened pre prior to your meeting have a massive influence on how she's gonna to react to your approach? Is she happy in her relationship, is she not? Is, there, is, is, is she staying at her friend's house tonight? Is she not? Is she on her period? Is she not? Dumb shit. Like these are things that can completely affect. If your girl knows she's getting picked up by her boyfriend in the night, why is she going to talk to you? If she knows her boyfriend's out of town, she's supposed to be staying with her friends and her boyfriend's pissed her off because he ain't texted her in a few days, she's a lot more likely to reply to you. These are things that have nothing to do with your approach. My point is that every single female has a window where they are susceptible to your language and there's windows where they're completely closed. My chicks who I have on lock, the multiple females I have on lock, I, I am very confident that if they go to a club or they go out and a man tries to talk to them, there's nothing that man can say that's gonna get her to be interested in it. There's nothing, because they're closed. They are closed for business. It's like having a fucking storefront. The store's closed, you can't go inside. Whereas if the store's open, you can go inside and try and negotiate a deal. So you need to understand that timing has a huge factor to play with every single female. This is very important. So we know timing has a huge effect. Timing has a huge effect. There's been girls who I've hit up that kind of half replied to me, never really got anywhere. Hit them up again six months later when I see their big booty pop up again on my Facebook feed. We end up at din dinner and I say, the first time I tried to talk to you, you, were, you know, we, we, we didn't get anywhere. And she's like, yeah, I was going through some stuff. You know, I had some problems at home. Basically, she wasn't open for business the first time I tried to speak to her. I'm obviously the kind of man she likes because right now we're on a date. She obviously wants to dig. But at the time, she wasn't susceptible to my approach because timing has a huge factor to play with females. And this is why they say it's a numbers game. It's not a numbers game because you're definitely going to fail. In fact, I'll be confident enough to say, I mean, I know all these fucking game books say otherwise. If a bitch is open for business, and I make an approach, I have an 80% success rate. I will fuck 80 to 90% of the females who I attempt to sleep with, at least. Probably even higher. I'll say 100, I don't give a fuck. If I know, if a girl's single and I say hello and she feels like talking that day, it's game over. I don't fail ever. Sooner or later, they're, they're naked. So when they say it's a numbers game, it's not because you must fail when you're getting girls. That's bullshit game talk for amateurs. The reason it's a numbers game is because you don't really know who's open for business and who isn't. I can give you a few tips and, and visual cues to decide who's open for business, who isn't. Fuck that garbage. It's better just to stick it as a numbers game. You try, they're not open for business, next. You try, they're not open for business, next. You try, she is susceptible to your game, and then you move on. So this is one of the first things you need to understand about females, is that women, there are a lot of factors you can't control, and a lot of women are not open for business. Now during this period where they're not open for business, do not blast your chances by making her lose respect for you. So if you message a girl, she doesn't reply, fine. You want her to reply, you wanna play with her tits, I get it. Wait at least three months before you try again. Give it a chance for her shit to blow over. Because let me tell you something, if she has two messages or three messages from you a year, maybe two years later when she's fucking sitting at home, she's lonely, and you say, let's go have some fun, she'll reply to you, that's fine. But when she has a thousand messages, and you message her, even if she feels like replying, she's gonna scroll up and see that creepy shit and be like, fuck this, this guy's a weirdo. So don't blast your chances. When the fucking door's closed and the shop isn't open for business, don't fucking bang on that door too hard. Because all you're gonna do is make her lose respect for you and you're never gonna get laid. 
So you can't be doing that shit. If someone's not susceptible to your approach, leave it. And leave it a generous period of time. Approach other women. Come back when there's been a period of time in which things might have changed. Things haven't changed in two days. Things haven't changed in three hours. Stop hitting them up you look like a dickhead. So this is a very important thing. This is the first thing. Second thing you need to understand about getting hot women is that women are never without attention. You don't have to make a girl like you. That's easy. You have to make a girl like you more than she likes the other guys who are trying to make her like them. Do you understand the difference? You have to win. As a girl, she just has to, as a girl, if you're a girl, you have to make a guy like you, guy fucks you, easy. As a man, you have to make the girl like you most because there's always other dudes attempting to make her like them. That's something else you need to understand. And when I was saying to you before about body language, about mindset, etc., one of the keys to doing this is to make the small gestures that you go through more valuable than the small gestures they go through. Exactly the same as I was talking about job interviews. The things you do have to be more valuable. How to get rich? Well, my time's worth more, so you must pay me more. It's exactly the same with females. So for example, imagine you are trying to talk to a girl. She may, she'll never admit it, but she's talking to two or three other dudes. She'll never admit it. Until she's exclusively yours, there's other guys hitting up her phone. Those guy, one of those guys sends her flowers. You don't send her flowers. Now on paper, he's winning. He went through it. He sent her flowers. He did something for her. He thought of her. You did nothing. But if you're such a high value man that you're busy and you're getting your shit done, you're getting paid, and you say to her, yeah, I've been busy today. I'll message you later. And she respects you enough to look at those words and go, okay, I know he's busy. He has things going on. Then you win anyway. You ain't got to send the flowers. It's not about the flowers. It's about your time being more valuable. It's about putting a price on yourself which is higher than this guy's. So you don't have to go through the same bullshit he went through to try and prove a point. You can prove a point with a message. I got shit going down, but I'm gonna call you at seven. That's worth more because your time's worth more than fucking Mr. Nobody send flowers. Do you understand where I'm coming from? It's not about the gesture itself. It's about how you value yourself. This is why in every video I keep going back to the G mindset and the body language. These things are extremely important with females. I don't try too hard with girls. I really don't try too hard. I will talk to them a little bit. I'll make it clear that I'm not as big an asshole as people think I am. And then I'll try and progress to a meeting. If that meeting doesn't seem to materialize, then the game's over for me. I'm not sitting here trying to chase a meeting out of some bitch. Uh, that's not who I am as a person. 